Good day. My name is Jasper Hewitt, owner of Rotrix Africa Industries, the manufacturer of Rotrix Traveling Irrigation Systems. Today we're going to demonstrate to you our latest product called the Rotrix Rhino 300, the most versatile traveling irrigation system on the market. The Rotrix Rhino 300 is very unique in its design and is built on a four-wheel chassis which sets it apart from the other models that we manufacture. The four-wheel chassis offers the following options, adjustable axle widths to accommodate row crops and ridging, a pivoting front axle for towing and stability, a draw bar which can be either you pull by hand or hitched behind a tractor or a quad bike. It has a double hose reel system allowing for two lengths of lay flat hose, one length of 100 meters, one length of 50 meters, allowing the machine to do a 50 meter run, a 100 meter run, a 200 meter run and a 300 meter run, making it the most versatile compact traveling irrigation system on the market. It has a double sprinkler system on top with a range of different nozzles to accommodate droplet population according to the crop irrigated. It has pressure gauge systems. It is water driven by a patented open turbine drive driven by jets of water through a reduction gearbox, chains and sprockets linked to the cable drum. On the cable drum we have our 300 meters of galvanized cable. This when extended is what by winching it in pulls the machine forward. It has a built-in manual hose reel system to facilitate winding back the hose. Included is a PTO drive system with a reduction gearbox which can be hitched to the back of the tractor and driven by the PTO drive to wind up the hose, facilitating easy management by one to two people. But the beauty of the system is the whole thing can be done by manual labor only. You don't require heavy equipment. Two operators is all that is required to manage the Rotrix Rhino. It has an adjustable height for the T-bar up to three meters to four meters high depending on the crop being irrigated. Sugarcane, maize, it does not matter. Lucerne, vegetables, wheat, barley, all can be irrigated for, by using the Rotrix Rhino. The Rotrix Rhino is equipped with a range of different brass gate valves to control the various pressures and flows where required. We start off with a valve between the two drive nozzles. The reason for two drive nozzles is that one has the option of increasing the pressure on the wheel with a double nozzle to increase speed when required. For instance, if one is irrigating germination systems. Otherwise, we have a pressure gauge here which controls the speed of the machine. This valve regulates the flow through the system onto the drive nozzles, changing the speed up and down depending on the pressure. We have a spring brass gate valve at the bottom of the T-bar which controls the pressure through to the nozzle. And we have a gate valve on the T-bar which can isolate one sprinkler completely from the other to half the flow rates. All this is regulated by reading the pressure on the pressure gauge which can be adjusted to read top and bottom pressures. On the machine you would see this ladder, step ladder mounted to the front. This allows you to get to the higher T-bar once raised for taller crops to adjust the nozzles. So looking at this you can see why the Rotrix Rhino is the most versatile machine in this class on the market. Now let's get ready to do the demonstration. Now we're going to show how to use a tractor to assist setting up the Rotrix Rhino 300 and uh, connecting up to the hydrant and with the aid of the tractor pulling the hose off the reel and setting it up ready for irrigation.
At this point, what they are doing now is coupling in the second section of hose to increase the length from 100 to 150 meter. Now we're going to demonstrate how to anchor the cable with the anchor peg ready to allow the machine to move forward. For demonstration purposes, we're only anchoring about 30 to 40 meters away from the machine, but in theory, in practice, it should be 300 meters away from the machine. It's important that when you drop the anchor ring over the peg, the long pipe faces down towards the ground the short pipe is allowed to swivel, ensuring the cable does not twist when wound back onto the cable drum. We are now ready to engage the cable drum with the clutch pin, which inserts into the side of the cable drum and locates with the sprocket on the outside. The clutch pin can, generally, it can always remain in the machine once inserted. Then we will make sure the Stopping lever is open. Check all the valves are open. And now we are ready to allow the water to pass through the machine and start irrigating. Right, what we are viewing now is the last part of a run where it will stop automatically about a meter before the anchor post. There's a lever in the front of the machine which will be forced backwards, pulling a cable which shuts down the flow of water to the drive nozzles. This will stop the mechanism which winches the machine forward and allow the machine to come to an end of its run. The main sprinklers will keep irrigating until the pump is switched off. There we go, we see the lever now moving, moving in the front of the machine and there the open turbine has now stopped. The drive is finished and we are ready to complete the irrigation cycle. The machine has now reached the end of, end of its run. The lever has been pushed forward, closing, closing off the shut valve to the drive nozzle and the machine has come to a standstill. We're now ready to end its irrigation run. The Rhino is equipped with two methods of winding up the hose. As mentioned before, one, a manual hose winding system with a four to one reduction ratio, or secondly, using the tractor PTO takeoff point and gearbox drive. What we're going to do now is demonstrate how to use the manual hose winder. 
At the back of the machine we have a set of rollers which guides the pipe back onto the hose reel. There's a clutch pin which is engaged and by turning the hose winder it starts winding the hose back onto the machine. Now we are using the manual hose winder 4 to 1 ratio reduction to wind up the hose. Well, there you have it, the Rotrix Rhinos 300, the most versatile, efficient, mobile, self-propelled irrigation system on the market. I trust you'll have a good idea of how everything operates. Thank you very much.